Hi, welcome. This video will be another remake. I will do a construction, a parametric construction in AutoCAD, and it will be exercise 1.4. So let's start with a circle. Make it maybe, doesn't matter. This. Then make a copy or some copies. Select it, press the control key and drag and drop. Like this. Okay. Then I will make some lines. Please note, this is not active infer constraints. You could do it with infer constraints as well, of course. So one line and uh, another line and uh, another line and, uh, and another line right here. Enter. Then I will change to parametric. I will make some lines horizontal. This one. Repeat this one, that one. Now go for tangency. Now you could make the trims or you could add dimensional constraints first because if you trim it later you can easily snap on the center points of these circles otherwise you have to select it by clicking the right mouse button. So I go for linear. Okay from here to here. It just set the dimensions and don't correct them. Then I need an aligned dimension from here to here. And some radius. Oh, of course, this is not necessary because these two lines are parallel and tangent, so I could remove this one. Okay, um, one is missing, that one is missing. Okay, now I will tr trim it. Trim against all. I will lose some constraints. And this one should be removed. And I lost the dimensions as well. That's really, really sad. So I will go for auto constraint, select all of them, enter. And I got at least all my geometric constraints, but I have to set the dimensional constraints again. So 
it might be better to trim it first and set afterwards the dimensional constraints. So I need another linear one, see? Now I have to select it by center and again by center. Confirm it, repeat it. Center, center. No, I need an aligned one. Center, and second point, center. And some radius, one here, one here. Here, one here. Now we'll go to the parameters manager. First, I could check if, if this profile is stable, so just select it here, try to move it, and you see it seems to be sort of stable. Yes, looks nice. Now we'll go for parameter manager and change it to the right values. So, you could change this one first. Should be 60. This one should be... Why is it so slow? 20. This one should be 40. It's so slow. 15. Ten. Come on. Fifteen. ridiculously slow and 15 yeah looks nice close this one I have to add some circles one here radius 8 Another one here and one over here and add the constraints. And I'm almost done. So these dimensional constraints will not be plotted or printed because I made them dynamic. Look here. This is a dynamic constraint mode and there's an annotation constraint mode. If you do it dynamic, they will not be printed. If you do it annotational, they will be printed but you can change it afterwards. Just select them go for the properties and change them from dynamic to annotational and then they will be printed and I'm 
almost done. Now I could move it. the origin yeah and I'm done hope you enjoyed it see you next time bye <laughs>